Hey, what is up guys? New Tech Begins here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Ubuntu Touch on a Nexus 6P. As you can see here, it is booting now. I'm very excited. can be easy to install but depends on the issues which you probably will encounter during the installation but normally if you have a standard ROM on it and you just uh, flash it you won't have any problems with that but um, let me take a look at this ROM here uh, let us take a look at this nice ROM Isn't that amazing? The auto rotate function is already enabled in the operating system itself. That's amazing. Now, if we have a look at the applications here uh, of Ubuntu Touch. Now, let's have a look at the uh, at the applications. Uh, we have here a calculator, for example, and that's very nice. To remove the, the application you swipe to left and then you swipe up or down. Now the next application is a calendar that is also always handy to have. A nice calendar. Yeah, the next thing will be the camera. Let's see if we can take a snapshot or a picture of my speaker there you go and in uh, the photos then we would have this nice picture here which we can rotate I guess so Okay, so we got photos, we got a gallery, we got the calendar, we got a calculator, we got a nice clock. The clock is not missing. We want to go ahead and add a city. For example, Los Angeles. And uh, there's also an alarm. That's nice. Then we go to the next application, which is Contacts. It's like an uh, Android phone or uh, an Apple phone where you can save all your contacts. You can import them also from Google. And let me see here what we got here messages. This to send SMS. That's nice also. We can do of course phone calls with it. With Ubuntu Touch, that's also nice too. Of course, and um, it's got a file manager, also a media player for your music, music player, Morph browser, which is the internet browser. We continue with the next uh, application, which is Notes you can type in the notes it's always handy to have you can add new notes um, open stores like the app store or google store where you can add the apps i added here the game tux racer for example
Game Store. Um, next thing is the system settings or the system settings and uh, with the system settings you can uh, set all the uh, options Wi-Fi, cellular, Bluetooth, hotspot, VPN you can even change the background if you like to that is very nice and we got here also USB ports I use this program to install uh, Ubuntu Touch on it. You can download it on your PC, for example Windows or Apple or Linux, which is very nice. Uh, I installed uh, Ubuntu Navigation, which can be handy for your navigation purposes, which is also always nice to have. And uh, it's called Weather Application. Okay, clear sky, 16 degrees, 9 degrees. And uh, with the weather uh, predictions, that's nice. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, Ubuntu Touch, which is an amazing operating system on a phone. And um, let me show you uh, what this phone is because it cannot be installed on any phone. Um, I'm using in this case the Huawei Nexus 6P. Um, why am, uh, am I using this phone? Because it's, uh, it's still a good phone, it's five years old, but it's got the Snapdragon 810 and um, it will cost about under $29. So how can you install it? You have to download UbiPorts installer, which is this nice program from Ubuntu, and then you um, boot your phone into the bootloader mode, like in this video. You can choose between different platforms. If you have Linux, you choose this here. If you have Windows, you choose this option here. Apple for this option here. Linux, other Linux, for example Linux Mint, this option here. This one is for Ubuntu. Okay, and um, let me just grab the Windows file just to show you guys what I mean. Let's put it in downloads or here on desktop, it's okay. Yeah, it's downloading now. Done. You see this application here, you just install it and we'll be good to go. So here you can select the device manually and here you can see which devices are compatible with Ubuntu Touch. So for example BQ Aquarius which is an unknown phone, I never heard of it. Fairphone, yes I know. Google Pixel of course we do. My, uh, Make Zoo Another brand, Nexus 6P, yes, uh, OnePlus 3, yes, OnePlus 1, yes. Mm, Sony Xperia, also nice, nice phones. Yeah, or Xiaomi Redmi 4X. So one of these phones will be compatible with, uh, with the, the Ubuntu Touch or a OnePlus 3T or OnePlus 3 even is compatible with it which are two different phones the one has the oneplus 3 has an a20 chipset and the oneplus 3t has an 821 chipset or you could go for a sony xperia xzf 8332 331 single sim or 332 with double sim dual sim which is also very interesting and then install on that ubuntu touch on it yeah, so you just do that, boot your phone into the bootloader mode. How can you boot into the bootloader mode? Just bear with me one second. You have to go to Hardware Reset Info and here you can boot by pressing the power and the volume down into the bootloader mode, which is the screen here. Once you are there, you go back to your... Yeah, to the OB ports installation... Uh, 
and from here you can install it. You just select your device and you're good to go. If for some reason you will get error messages like a vendor image not compatible or cannot mount the device, then you need to follow the steps here on XDA. So we have here for example the Nexus 6P, you want to go ahead and follow these steps here. He who likes to experiment with operating systems and advanced settings, that kind of stuff, then uh, yeah, I think then, then you will be good to go. Okay, that concludes this video for today. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for future updates. I'm gonna upload more videos, uh, possibly also about uh, U Ubuntu Touch, which is, I think, a very interesting topic. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Stay well and adios.